Word. What's up guys, it's John here and welcome to TGIF Phonage. We got a fantastic episode for you today. So let's get some mobile news phonage time served with some red bean ice cream. Again, it sounds gross, but it's actually pretty darn super delicious. Apparently another fourth generation iPhone has been lost, found and leaked, this time in Vietnam. Not too sure how they got their hands on it, but they did. I have a feeling that pinky nail might help explain some things. Unlike the one Gizmodo had, this one could power on, but it was stuck in boot mode with an explosion graphic on the top left. Apple likes to be fancy, and for some strange reason, I have a feeling this will happen. <laughs> Oh, so hot. Get on the floor, get on the floor, get on the floor. An update to the whole iPhone Verizon situation. Back in 2007, AT&T wanted to make the iPhone exclusive to their network, so they signed a five-year deal with Apple. And the plot thickens. Recent rumors state that Pegatron Technologies, a parts manufacturer, has received an order to make 10 million CDMA iPhones within a year. 10 million, that's a lot, and they gotta be going somewhere. More on this is Cynthia from the Sin Channel. Take it away, girl. New rumors have come out that Verizon will probably get it this summer. And I really hope it does. If I have to wait until 2012, or even 2011, I can get just a little upset. Nothing that I can't handle. I'll just get something else. Everything will be great. I don't have to worry about it because Verizon's gonna get it in a couple of months. Ah, see! If you're on Verizon and you're not digging the whole potential Verizon iPhone or the HTC Droid Incredible, the Palm Pre Plus and Palm Pixie Plus can now be picked up for $0 on a two year contract. Not bad, not bad, not bad! The HTC Evo 4G, the WiMAX capable Android, holy crap, can that thing actually fit into your pocket device? <laughs> will be launching with Sprint on June 4th. Sprint customers can pick up the Evo 4G for $199.99 on contract. However, according to sources, the full price of the Evo 4G off contract will be $450, which is amazing considering that the Droid, Nexus, and the iPhone all go for more than $500. Me being an avid YouTuber, I just had to talk about this. Engadget has posted up several videos showcasing Sprint's 4G speeds on the Evo. For one of them, they did a YouTube comparison between the Evo 4G and the iPhone 3G. Not surprisingly, the Evo simply killed it. The video is significantly larger, it loads much faster and it looks brilliant on the AMOLED screen. To make things better, you can connect it to a big screen via HDMI out. Now before your iPhone haters go off and say, oh the iPhone sucked, it doesn't have flash, it had a, a 3.2 megapixel camera and the usual listing of specifications, for that comparison video playback wise it was not fair. What would be fair is if they were to compare the YouTube playback on the Evo 4G to the one found on the iPhone 4th generation. Oh, so hot. Whoa. Uh, you, uh, you have an iPhone? iPhone? They took it! What happened? They took my noodle! Either way, the Evo 4G looks awesome. It seems like a lot of carriers are focused on getting their own super phone. So I was wondering, say you're currently not on a contract, which carrier would you go to and which phone would you get and why? Keeping in mind, of course, reception, price, service, and so on. For me, I'm on Fido, but I'll probably stick with Fido when the fourth generation iPhone comes out, because Fido has awesome plans. Let me know by commenting! Today's theme of the day would be the Ambos theme for Blackberry OS. It totally reminds me of Opera Mini, which is awesome, and it can be picked up for $6.99. This episode of Phonage is brought to you by Guitar, probably played wrong, but yet still so amazing. <laughs> Does she do that? Last episode, I asked what you guys thought was the ugliest device ever. Like always, you guys give really interesting responses. Quite a few of you guys said the iPhone, as well as various other Nokia models. My favorite one you guys mentioned was the Nokia N-Gage. You know that Sega Game Gear looking thing? Sega! <laughs> Memories. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Make sure you check out the Phonage blog, Phonage forums, Techware, and of course, Tech7. All of those links, plus the links to all the stuff we talked about today, can be found in the bottom bar. This was John from T7, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Have a great weekend, guys. Later. Winky face.